Okay, since I was asked to make another tutorial on how to import a model without an element during Schwarzabis, like an OBJ or something that you have uh, downloaded from the internet, let's give it a shot. So we open the dummy man file, just hide our dummy, and get the model that we want to import, in this case the Shinnok. Now, this time, I have removed all the um, vertex groups so that Shinnok has no weight phase. This is exactly the situation you would have if you would download this model from the internet as an OBJ or something like this. So let's start. There are two methods. One is more time consuming and gets to better results. One can be used for quick testing. So let's start with the quick one without further ado. So the first thing, we go to the armature and we go to edit mode and we try to align our armature to the model. That is, we can either try to align the armature to the model or align the model to the armature. In this case, in the case of Shinnok, we go first with the armature. So we select the arm and we rotate it to adapt it to the frame. This now a bit back. We have to move this. This. Okay. One arm is done. Almost. We just move it a bit. Okay. Now, second arm. The disadvantage of this method is that obviously it will completely mess up the preloaded animations because we are changing how the loop scale works. But in principle, we can use it without issues to create new animations without any sort of side effect. Voilà, now she looks as well and I need to move up. Now, the next step can work or not. First, you have to remember that, for example, some bones we shouldn't leave them to be out. We will have to do some work afterwards, but now the first step is done. 
Now what we do is we parent Finnoc to the armature and we try to use the automatic weights from Blender. First let me remove the old um, constraint now control P with automatic weights. Okay, so something has happened. Let's have a look at what. Blender now has assigned some automatic weights to Finnox body. So you can see that for the most, for example, legs are working fine, arms are working fine, probably what is not working fine, yeah. So we don't want, for example, that uh, since we are not using the Finnox fingers, we don't want that they have any effect on the the clones have no effect. So either we delete them or we change the weight to okay the head is almost fine. Neck is almost fine. Okay, so first off this seems already kinda good. So in principle what we could do would be just export this Shinnok model and see what happens. But you can see already that there is some trouble. So let's first go through what we have to change. First thing, there are some of the bones that don't have, that must not have any constraint. In this case, are all the one new marked by IK, which goes for inverse kinematic. They are the controllers, so they don't need to have any weights assigned. So we remove all the IK. Also, another bone that needs no control is AX001 because this is the is this bone here, which is actually the controller of the full body movement. So, in principle, this doesn't need to get any um, anything assigned. And so, we go there and we also remove this one. So this is already better. Now that we have removed the useless uh, connections, we control, we check with the weight paint that everything is okay. So let's have a look. Let's start. Ips. Should Ips control this part? Yes. So it's pretty okay, we are not changing it. The only thing that we could do is that we go to edit mode and we select what the ips are. So we probably don't want it to have anything to do with this torso area. So let's yeah let's select the torso one go to weight paint mark to select so in this case we are only affecting the torso Go to subtract in the weight paint. Increase the radius and remove every influence from the hips to the torso, like applying a, paint, a, a brush. Okay, now this is done. Let's go forward with the next stop, spine. We don't want the spine to have to control the collar, so we go to the collar, we select it, and we remove it directly from the spine. So now when we go to weight paint, we will see that the spine has not anymore anything to do with the collar, which is good. Torso, okay, neck. The neck is looks mostly fine, but we don't want it to have to control this part here. So use and get rid of this part. So that the next is just controlling the neck. Maybe a bit a 
away so that it doesn't make us. And it's pretty straightforward. Arm N. Yeah, we don't want the arm to modify the body. So again, we go there, we select the body, and we remove it from arm and forearm. To be sure that nothing happens here. Okay, let's go into weight paint. Neck, head. Okay. So I have missed some parts before, so. Bear with me. Okay. Yeah. Arm. Forearm. Wrist. Okay, now for Shinnok, we want the wrist to just encompass the full end. So, and we don't want the, these bones here. So, what we do is we remove the thumb. Normally, if we want our model's fingers to be uh, moved by the bones, we need to also sign them. But in our case, for Shinnok, we just need the wrist. So the first thing we do is we go here, we select the arm, and we remove it. And now we select the full punch and we assign it to the wrist. So that now when we go to weight paint, and we check. The wrist, we see that, oh yeah, perfectly. I must destroy one part that I didn't assign. Let's be sure that we are. Yeah, so far. Now we make the same on the other end. So first we select the full forearm. We go to we remove thumb fingers fingers fingers. We remove the forearm weight from this. And now. We try to get the full Monty and the sign it to the Now if we go to again to the pose mode we should see that the wrist now it's it's moving it. That Shinnok foot is moving okay. So yeah, in principle now this model should be, it's ready to be exported. And yeah, almost ready to be exported because sometimes there are some small, for example. Well, if this phenomenon appears, this means that some uh, points have been not uh, assigned properly. So what we do is we go back to the model. In this case, it was something from the forearm. It. Let's enter pose mode to isolate what our problems are here and here. So now, now we know that we want this, so we go to the model and the modifier. We said that we want to be able to modify it. We select this. And we assign it in this case, uh, it's the right for arm. We select this and we go to the right for arm. Okay, let's make a last check in pose mode to see that everything Yeah. Yeah.
Now this is the right foot. Nine. Scheiße. So I have to remember that not to to deselect what I did select previously. Now this is the left foot. So just to check that I haven't done anything strange. Okay, so as you may have seen, there are a lot of things that one has to take care of. But it's still not as bad as it could be. In this case... This is fit to sign to the torso. Now I can understand it uh, further missing. This part of the torso. Okay. Okay, obviously now the geometry is a bit weird, and the pose is a bit weird, but uh, everything boils down to finding the right uh, ways for the right parts. For example, now. Ah, uh, yeah, most likely still have to remove this part here. Must not be controlled by the legs. So we go there. And we remove the first leg part. Then the part. And yeah. So it's a question of fine tuning and painting. Because now that she is in this really common composition, we have finally a model that we can export. And so we, we check if the, the name of the model is, um, okay, the name of the armature is armature, perfect. We select all again, and now we click, and we make the usual DirectX export. Machine not to right-handed, mesh normal, uh, vertex color, no, so the skin weights, armature boss, and rest position. We Export it and it's done. Thanks for the attention.